welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today we're going to transform one of those pictures I picked up at the thrift store and I have ordered the print for it and that will be in tomorrow but we have some prep work to do. I want to shore up this frame a little bit and we have to paint over the um, canvas that was in there because what I ordered was an architectural drawing so I ordered the print off of Etsy. It was $2 and no, $1.79. I ordered two in case I make a mistake. So it was $3.58 to have this printed. And the actual file itself was $2.60. So for like six bucks plus the frame, so $10, I'm gonna have some awesome artwork for my living room. So I'm super excited. Um, I will insert somewhere a picture of the print that I ordered off of Etsy. You can get anything off of Etsy, I feel like. But right now I'm gonna turn your direction and we're gonna sure up this frame and we're gonna start painting on this canvas. Okay, one moment. All right, so I took out the painting here and what I did to the frame this is definitely a handmade frame. So what I did was I took out the painting. I took my staple gun and I just stapled up the corners to hold it together. This is a handmade frame, so it definitely is rustic. But the beauty is it already has this saw-like hanger on it. And that's it, that's all I have to do to the frame. So give me a second, I'm gonna grab my painting supplies and we're gonna start painting over this. All right, and like I said before, the picture won't be here till tomorrow, but I need to get this painted and covered and it is gonna take several coats. Even though this paint is very thick, this is dark. So I'm using a big old sponge brush and I won't make you watch paint dry with me, but I just wanna show you that honestly, I'm doing this. And I'll have to do this a couple times. Now, if I can't get this to cover up, I can go buy one of these canvas, but I'm just trying to do this thrifty, you know? As thrifty as I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one coat and then let it dry and I'll add several more and then I'll show you when I've got it all covered up what it's gonna look like. Hey everybody, I just got back from Staples and oh my goodness, look at this Highland cow. Or if you're in Scotland, the Highland Q is what they called it. Oh, I'm loving it. I purchased the uh, file off of Etsy for $2.60. I can print this cow in any shape that I want or any size, I'm sorry. I printed it on an architecture blueprint and the paper is pretty thick. I'll show you when I'm attaching it. Um, it's a little big. I, sh I need a 16 by 20. I think this is an 18 by 24, but I'll cut it down. It was a dollar and 78 cents. I got two in case I make a mistake. Now let's go upstairs and I will show you how I'm going to attach it. All right, we're upstairs. I've got my print laid out. Let me move my mat. So, <laughs> Alex, move your butt, buddy. We have my cow. And I took the insert, I think I showed you last time, I just painted it white. The problem I'm going to run into is I'm going to be missing part of his ears. Or I guess I got to decide if I want to be missing part of his ears or part of his down here. And I think I'll miss some of that. I should have went with a smaller size, but that's okay. Alex, honey. So what I'm going to do is line up this here so he is straight so we'll measure down here I think maybe what we'll do is lose a little bit of the top and a little bit of the bottom how about that so about an inch at the bottom I just want it straight perfect and if your bottom is straight, the rest of it will be straight. Alex, buddy. Then I'm just going to hold this down. And this is why I bought two. Okay. 
And because there's a little bit of a border on the frame, it's okay. And there's my outline, and I'm just gonna cut it out. And then I'll show you how I glue it down. <laughs> which I'm okay with. I'm going to glue it down and then when it's dry, I'm going to flip it over and take an X-Acto knife and clear up the back is what I'm going to do to make sure it's perfect. Now, let me move this out of my way. I just got some Mod Podge in this, and I do not want it super thick for sure because it'll roll the paper if it's too moist. And I probably will even paint this on here and possibly just let it um, kind of set up for a minute. And you know, cat fur, that's my life. And if I let this sit just for a minute after I get it all smoothed out till it gets just tacky, I think it'll be less likely for me to get um, puckering. all this gluing um, but because I don't have any glass in this frame I need to glue it down to this canvas but that's okay I want it to look a little rustic to go with my farmhouse so right now I am just oops, um, taking a straight edge and cutting off these pieces And this paper is pretty thick. I thought it would be thin, like a crepe paper, or I don't know, I just imagined it being much thinner than what it is. But it's not, which is great. Um, this would be perfect in a picture with a frame. And that other frame for my bedroom, I may end up ordering and doing the same thing for that frame. And keeping it in my, you know, keeping it behind the glass. And then I wouldn't need to do the gluing, if that makes sense. This is not quite dry, so I am going to let it sit for about an hour or so. And, uh, yeah. Oops. I really just want this tidy and neat. There we go. Just use my straight X-Acto knife. Now, if you can see some bubbles up there, I'm hoping when it dries, the bubbles minimize. If not, I have another one. I can do it again. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. And as I suspected, all the bubbles flattened out once it was dry. There's a couple little wrinkles, but they're hidden in the cow. So I'm super happy about that. Now, what we're gonna do, take the frame and take him 
and make sure he's upright. And I need to see the side over here has some nails. And I need to get them up under the nails that are already in place. There we go. And those are done. And then what I'll do is just kind of tap those down a little bit to hold this in place. And I did keep the nails that I removed from before. This is going to be a little awkward for me, but you know, what do you do? I want to hang it. And I will tell you, be careful if you have nail polish. As I did today, I got a little pink on it. But that's okay. And this doesn't need to be perfect in here. I just need these nails to kind of hold. You know what? I wonder if I um, use my staple gun since I'm having a hard time with the nails. Oops. I'm trying to push it in a little bit. And then nail it. Let's see what the nail gun does. I mean, not the nail gun, the staple gun. So I don't want it all the way in. Well, that went all the way in. Let's try this way. Oops. I'm going to do a little bit through. Oh, you can't see me. A little through the canvas. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's going to work better for me and my... Oops. Yes, I just launched my staple gun across the room. And then we're just going to do a little... See, it's just catching. This is the beauty when you do it yourself. <laughs> Oops. All right, we're going to flip it over. Oh, I love it. And we're going to take it downstairs and hang it up, and I will show you what it looks like on my wall. Oh, there we have it. I haven't taken my bunny down yet. <gasps> Guys, I love it. So the frame was $4.94, the print was $1.78, and then I paid $2.60 for the digital file of the cow. <gasps> I'm so happy. And I hope you all are too. Hi, baby. The cats are happy. And this is hung on my wall. Say hi, buddy. Okay, he's not saying hi. There we go, guys. My trash to treasure. So happy. Have a good one.